Probably no aspect of daily life illustrates more clearly the cultural differences between civilizations than culinary art. For Europeans, Asian cuisine is a shock. Then the same can be said about an American for the first time on another continent. International cuisine includes a variety of flavors, colors, and ingredients in the most unexpected combinations, which enhance every taste. But there is some cuisine that is just so weird it's unreal. Before we get into that, don't forget to hit the little bell button to subscribe to our channel. Now, here are the top 10 weirdest foods in the world. Katsu Marzu. The Katsu Marzu, or Fromaggio Marcio, cheese is of Italian origin, more precisely from Sardina, and is famous for having live insects. In the Sardinian language, Katsu Marzu means rotten cheese, and the cheese goes beyond the typical fermentation stage, sometimes even decomposing. Fermentation takes place with the help of the digestive action of the larvae of the cheese flies, which are introduced voluntarily, thus producing the breakdown of fat. The consistency of this type of cheese is soft, sometimes draining, and the smell is so sharp that it can be used for torture. Very hard to bear with those with sensitive stomachs. Can you imagine someone who is lactose intolerant eating such a food? There will be a lot of intolerant gas circulating in the air. Eskimos. The ant larvae used in the special preparation of Lima tarpum species are considered by gourmets to be the caviar of insects. Somewhat surprisingly, Eskimos have a butter-like taste and the consistency of cheese. So if you need something to spread on your bread, you can use Eskimos. Pretty sure it's going to taste crunchy. Rackfisk. It is a Norwegian delicacy where trout and salmon are used, and also herring. The fishes are salted abundantly and then left to ferment for about three months. When it dries, it is kind of a mummification. So you practically have to wait for three months and some days before eating. Let's hope you don't look like the fish too by that time. Before being consumed, raw of course, it is rinsed with beer or potato liquor, usually for more taste. In Norway, more than 500 tons of rack fish are consumed annually. So my advice to you is to place your order now to get it quickly in three months. Loot fish. Historically, loot fish was the main food of the Nordics during the winter. But not only, since it has a very long shelf life. The delicacy is specific to the countries of Northern Europe, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, and is prepared simply, cod or hake, salted and dried in the sun for several weeks, then covered with lye for consumption, washed with cold water and boiled in butter, which is not all bad. Kiviak. Although a delicacy from Greenland, it is also spread throughout Scandinavia and also in Alaska. It is made of small birds called ox, which are used with feathers and mats. They're caught like butterflies with a net, after which their head is broken, like someone's heart right now. And then they're put into ferment in the belly of a seal. The seal is then buried in the ground and left for at least three months. It is also prepared by boiling with many spices, and they're very tasty, so I heard. The basic condition being not to be around the pan during cooking, because the smell is horrible. In this case, the patient's dog will also have to be patient for three months. Sir Strumming. Sir Strumming is a specialty of northern Sweden and is based on herring left to ferment for months in huge containers, then canned and kept fermented for another year, breaking the previous records of only three months. The fish is put to fresh fermentation, also with intestines, only the head is cut. And at the end, when the can is open, the pressure inside gives the impression that you have opened a bottle of Gash's juice well stirred. The smell is terrible. Most Swedes consume this fish in open places, not in the home so the smell can be easily dispersed. But the taste is, in fact, divine. So strumming is so appreciated by the Swedes that it even has a museum, which is pretty cool. So if you want some strumming, you should start the process now, so by next year's summer, we can eat. Stinky Toe Food It is marketed in the markets of China, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia, and is made from fermented soy milk, meat vegetables, and sometimes seafood, all made from brine, often infested with worms. The smell is often so repulsive that many people in the West can't even taste a piece. 
alcarl. This meat comes from a species of shark from Greenland, the sleeper shark, which is so rich in uric acid that it cannot be consumed without the meat being treated for six to eight weeks. Haukarl has a pungent odor of ammonia and a taste similar to cheese soaked in the same substance. It is a part of selection of traditional Icelandic dishes served in the middle of winter. Although, I don't know why I have to risk my life to hunt a shark when I can go to the market and get a salmon. But who knows? Hazma. You may have tried one of China's most famous dishes, frog legs, but you certainly haven't eaten hazma. Essentially, it is a specific Chinese dessert and is made from the dry fat tissue around the uterus of Asian grass frogs. The taste is delicate, profound, different, but not repulsive. Balut, or wrapped, in Malay is a fertilized egg of a goose, duck, or hen with an embryo almost developed inside, boiled, and consumed in the shell in the Philippines, China, or Vietnam. This preparation is not only considered a delicacy, but also an aphrodisiac. It is a high protein food usually served with beer. Eggs are appreciated for their taste and texture, and the fluid surrounding the embryo is absorbed by consumers before the shell is removed. In the Philippines, this preparation entered among the chosen foods being consumed in restaurants. In China, there is a similar food called mohaudin. I think we can all agree these foods are definitely weird, sweet, and delicious, but weird, and you gotta have the patience to make and eat some of the food. And if you can't stomach the strong taste, at least you can use the pungent smell for torture. That's all we have for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked this video, and also click the bell button to subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments section what you think about our list, if you have any weird lists of your own. We don't judge. Till next time.